I'm Rosalind Bronstein of the Palm Springs Public Library's Local History Project. It's October 15, 1986, and I'm at the home of Merced and Peggy Ortega to talk with Peggy and her sister, Virginia Canales. Um, your family, the Prieto family, came to Palm Springs in 1925. Right. What brought you here? What brought the Prieto family here? Well, actually, I think my uncle was here before, working on the, um, I think they were building the highway oh. from 111. Yeah. Um, Tony's name was Tony. Tony Pieta. And he... Brought my dad. Yeah, he told us, uh, my dad, that there was work over here if he wanted to come. Dad brought us. Lock, stock, and barrel. <laughs> Where did you come from? The Salamitas. And Just a few miles from Long Beach. And yeah. how many of you were there? There mm -hmm. were your parents. Mm -hmm. And how many were in the Prieto family then when you arrived here? It was uh, five. Because three were born here. Oh. Yeah. yeah, five of us. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when you came here, where did you live? Where did you settle down? <laughs> Um, well, you know where the Ralph's Market is now, yes, right? There. Yes. And where did you? Out in the open. Out in the open. And I don't remember if we had tents, do you? He pitched the tent. And pitched, pitched the tent. The tent and yep. There was water mm -hmm. bubbling out of the ground there, so we had plenty of water. And right at the foot of the mountain, actually, oh. there was a row of... Um, mm -hmm. Mm, what were they? Alamo trees, or what do you call them? Popular, popular trees. Popular, popular, yeah. And that was our shade. Mm -hmm. My mother and my aunt, I think, used to do the cooking. Big outside. old rocks. Oh yeah. On the outside. Heat yeah. or winter or summer. Yeah. Rocks, three rocks on each side, and a big piece of steel that was the top of the stove. Oh, that would be the stove. Yeah, well, it was a stove to them, and they put the tortillas out every day because they have to have tortillas every day. Cook the beans. beans. So whatever, whatever was yeah. we were going to mm -hmm. eat. That was know, a cooking. The three meals. Right? Of course, we enjoyed it. It was a big mm -hmm. picnic for us. <laughs> but our yeah. poor mothers, oh Lord, My they were. Didn't like it. And when she came here from Long Beach, from Los mm -hmm. Alamitos, mm -hmm. that she, you left a very different kind of life oh, yes. there. Mm -hmm. It was so hard on her because she was used to everything. She had everything in that we, house. We left nice everything. House. We just left everything. Furniture. We had a two-story oh. house over there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room. She had it nicely yeah. furnished. I remember that. I yeah. Sad. I don't know what got into my father. <laughs> well, he just loved it here. That's all I was doing. No, he loved the desert. He just she had didn't. that feeling. She didn't. She used to cry and cry because she wanted to go back. She wanted to go back mm -hmm. so bad. And you had said that, that your parents rented this this place, the, that, ground. the ground. We rented from the Indians. $10 a month. Ten dollars a month, mind you. Oh, just to pitch a tent there. Mm -hmm. To live there, yeah. They and paid the water and all. You know. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And you know that my dad planted um, free water there, all the water we wanted. He planted um, onions, watermelons. potatoes, watermelons, mm. and those new potatoes, oh, they were delicious. Oh, really? He'd dig out the little ones, you know, when they were still new. Well, we oh, had... delicious. So you had some things, your own, your own food there, but where did you get the rest of your groceries then for... From, um, what was his name in Banning? This man used to come once a week. And take the order and then deliver. Mm -hmm. Roque, Roque, Roque mm -hmm. from Bani. And so, did he do this for other families oh, around yes. here too? Everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, a actually, up town there was only the one market, wasn't there? That was the. Um, what was the name of that market? Gun, no. What was the name of that market? I don't remember. So there was a place you could get there supplies. Was, yeah. Oh yeah. In uh -huh. between. Yeah. And then yeah. And then this man Two came, yeah. too. 
When you first came, you were so young. What do you remember about coming to Palm Springs when you first arrived here? I mean, it was very hard on your mother, obviously, but you yeah. always said, well, Oh, I was that? afraid of the Indians. You can tell me the Indians here, you know. <laughs> I was afraid at night, you know. I'd sleep with my mom because afraid. I could just see them with all their. Feathers. You thought they were going to see feathers. Yeah, I could see the Indians, you know. <laughs> yeah, it took us a long time to get used to it. Of course. They were nice. They were very friendly, but. You know, when you're little, you know, I was seven years old. I thought they were great. <laughs> we played with the, with the younger kids, you yeah. know, they were younger Indians. And they, they, we climbed the mountain every day, mm. you know. Mm. We well, go scouting around to see what we could find. Cactus. This make the barrel, candy. We'd make candy. Oh. Now that barrel cactus. Mm -hmm. Tubfuls of that. My, oh. my cousin, Tony, would... Tony peel them with a little hatchet all around and take off the uh, the skin. When the it outside, whatever you call it. And then, you know, and you've seen boil it. Oh, it yes. and boil it and yes. boil it. Oh, well, yes. And then, mm. so do the Indian families live close by, too, so that you, you played with the children and were they neighbors yeah. of mm -hmm. yours? Yeah, there's a few, not too many of them, even then. There weren't that many families. Maybe we knew about four mm -hmm. families. Yeah, those, uh, Segunda, the Mandis. The Dentia. Yeah. Sobos. In fact, the grandmother of this little girl I showed you went to school with us. Oh. See, not knowing that my uh, grandson would marry her granddaughter. Oh, yes. And we'd be, both be great grandmothers to this same child. Oh, isn't that, mm -hmm. that's yeah. so wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then we'd go to school naturally. Oh, yeah. That was fun because we had to walk all the way from South End to Francis Stevens. And if it was flooded, if we had a good rain, there was water in the wash. It flooded the whole street all the oh. way down. And we'd have to take our shoes off <laughs> on, the <other> side, <laughs> on the other side of the um, My dad had to go stream. get because I'd scream my head off. It scared me to death to have to go through that water, you know. And sometimes I bet it was pretty deep, yeah. too, yeah. that it could be coming mm -hmm. down. And would that be just where the Takwitz Wash is now, right. where there's a bridge? Right there. Today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'd have to cross. So you'd have to just kind of go over mm -hmm. it. Did that happen very often? Um, yes, it did. Yeah, I think we used to have more water then yeah. than it does now. Yeah. And wind. Oh, windstorm. Ooh. Oh, the windstorms. Those were bad. See, and living Indian in the Avenue, tent, too. was it Palm Canyon or Indian Avenue, we used to come down and mm. lots of trees right along. Topple. And they topple over yeah. oh. with the wind and bring the wires down, the electric wires, and they'd spit them all over the road there and mm. we'd stop and that we wouldn't move till they came for us. Oh mm -hmm. my. And, and that, that happened that happened often too. It happened often. Yeah. All the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in the tent that you had cuz there were the, ele the electric wires but did you, you didn't have electricity hooked up no, when no, you were living there. Uh, no, no, there wasn't. No, I don't think there was any electricity all the I'm, way out there. No, not mm -hmm. out there. We had it here on um, section 14 you know, later. Window. When you moved there, but in at the a beginning later time. there wasn't. So what did you use for light and kerosene? For heat? Kerosene. Oh, kerosene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for cooking, you just told us about how your mother the did the stove. cooking. Wood stove. Yeah, wood stove mm -hmm. after, after the big cast iron. Oh, so when you got your first house, then you had the <laughs> wood stove. <laughs> wood stove. <laughs> kind yeah, of an improvement from that piece well, of metal actually, over the rocks. it was it was uh, wood on the bottom and on the sides up so high, mm -hmm. and yeah. and then the tent on the top. That was a big home. Oh, so it was it, it not it, really a home, you know. Just we're still we're still camping. Camping, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're still like camping, you know. My mother never thought she was in a house. She thought she was just camping. You know. Oh, I can so imagine. And so that everything she did—the washing and mm -hmm. by hand, everything. Oh yes. Everything. Boil your water with wood. Oh my. Um, we had we had talked to about that that there were five in, in the Prieto mm -hmm. family and that the babies who came mm -hmm. afterwards. Three more. Yeah. And mm -hmm. how were those delivered? Was there a midwife in town or was there a doctor? Well, my helped? sister, my youngest sister, she was born at home. Right. Oh, were we excited. Section 14, <laughs> yeah. Did mom have a doctor or midwife? Who was there? Yes, I think. 
Huh? Her friend Beatrice, I think. Oh, her friend. Yeah. Her they friend. helped well, each I other. I remember because I was already, what, nine years old. Oh, yes. And, and we I had remember they chased me away. So, yeah, it was her friend that was there with her. Beatrice. The same with Frank. The, the funny part that we thought mm. the stork was coming, so we were out there <laughs> looking for the stork. <laughs> we're out there, yeah, you know how you're so dumb then, you know, <laughs> can't fool them <laughs> oh. But so it was just sort of depending on other women, oh, close yes. friends, yes. to help out. Uh -huh. She had a doctor from us, all the others, up there. But, uh, and she had a doctor from her last one. She had a hard time with the last one. Yeah, that last one was a hard one. <laughs> Was there any kind of hospital in town then? No, no, no. no just that. Uh, Dr. Reed's. Uh, um, more or less a few rooms there Dr. Reed had up there in um, Palm Canyon. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, for the pepper poor trees, people no. couldn't go there. I mean, it was more or less for the hotels. Oh, I he see. He used to cater yeah, to the host yeah. hotels. So we just didn't think of going to the doctor. And so yeah. if it came sick. Oh, when wonderful? we were little, we didn't get sick. It doesn't seem like you did like they do now, really. Mm -mm. That's true, too. And mm -hmm. so the doctors, if they were here for the hotels, were they here mostly in the winter then, or? In summer, there wasn't any doctors or anything. Not even a priest. Everybody would leave. Everybody left. Well, it was just the ones that worked that stayed, and then they take off on the weekend, too. Mm -hmm. My dad used to take off on Fridays, come back Monday morning to work. We had talked a, a bit uh, about the fact that there was a, a little Indian church mm -hmm. on the reservation, uh, yes. and that that's where you went to church. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's still there, but it's more you know modern now. And, you know, well, yeah, they tore it down. The yeah, little church they that tore was it down. Movie. And is that where uh, Guadalupe is yeah. today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then, so that's where you went to church, mm -hmm. and what catechism. About, and catechism. You had said that the catechism was not taught by the priests, though; that it was taught by um, the the yeah, nuns. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And how often would they come? Once a week, Once wasn't a week it? We had to go by if I remember. On no. Saturdays. Yeah. Once in a while, a priest would come and, and give mass, but it wasn't like you know every Sunday. Oh, so there wasn't even a regular priest here then? No, no, no. Uh -uh. They all came from thing? Banning or, but even, s Father, I was, I don't remember if Father Rudin was uh, living here, or he, did he come from Banning? I can't remember if he came from Banning or he anyway. was staying there at the church. No, there wasn't any place for him to stay at no, the church. No he didn't have a... a Rectory. No, 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 no. Just the church and that's it. Yeah. When do you remember that they had a, a, a priest who came in a, sort of on a regular basis? How, how many years later was that, do you think? Mm. Do you have any recollection oh. of that? Probably you got married. <laughs> no, well, we didn't have a priest when I got married. That was in 37. Because that, uh, Father um, Arthur from Banning, Banning came to marry us. So even in 37, mm -hmm. I don't know, at least not in that little church, probably in, well, solitude. In, in solitude, but it was in summer, I'm sure there wasn't a priest hmm. staying there. Oh my, well, that's, and uh, let's see, what did, Well, talking about summer, how did you stay cool in the <laughs> summer? That <laughs> well, it seemed to me like it wasn't as hot. It wasn't as hot then as it is now. It, it, there wasn't um, humidity. Wasn't humidity. Have the humidity. Mm -hmm. So it was dry. The nights weren't that bad. Of course, our fathers built ramadas right away. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell with me about the, that. With the um, palm fronds, mm -hmm. they overlap them. Made the for shade, you know. Oh, like yeah. Porch. Made the shade. And, and that was cool. cool. Mm -hmm. We so, ate yeah. underneath that. Yeah. Every, and our beds were outside. Mm -hmm. Sleep outside. I remember we used to um, bury coffee cans, you know, four of them, fill them with water, 
-hmm. and put the bed posts the posts in so the ants wouldn't get us <laughs> they would drown they, they wouldn't they they'd wouldn't climb they'd fall in the water so you have to be kind of smart you know you <laughs> have to be very smart <laughs> Oh, that is yeah. really smart. Even the smart. table legs were in water. Yeah, because there was a lot of ants. And oh, there still, there are, there still are. Yeah. No, but there was much more then. Oh, yeah. It was a desert. <laughs> we got bit all the time. We went to Banning for the summer. My dad would send us right after school, May 31st or 29th, whenever it ended. Let's, we're on our way to Banning. Oh. It was cooler then over there than it is now. And then, <sighs> what did you do in in Banning? Then your father? Well, we were no, he stayed here. He, he stayed worked, at work. Working, but he would send us over there, <laughs> and we'd go. Um, we'd go work on the fruit whenever yeah. we could, you know, ourselves. He didn't want us to, but we used to just. It was fun for fun, you know. But we'd go know. cut apricot, you know, slice them in half, put them in trays, and they'd dry them for dried apricots mm -hmm. or peaches. Or, or shell, shell the, 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 uh, almonds. Almonds, uh huh. Oh, why didn't he want you to do well, that? Well, he figured that we had enough work to do at home with my mother, and we were we were on supposedly on vacation. <laughs> and girls too. He didn't. He did couldn't see that we went out to work. Oh yeah. He was very strict. You know, he, he said the men are the ones that are supposed to be out working, not the women. So <laughs> yeah, that he just didn't like it. You know, he didn't like it. Well, where did you stay in Banning then? He built a little house. He had a oh, house built for us. a lot and built a house for us. Three, three rooms, kitchen, and a couple of bedrooms. We'd just be there three months and then come back. It was fun. It's, but uh, he stayed here. What was his work here in Palm He was uh, g into gardening and um, uh, what else was he doing? The, a crusher? Yeah, he used to make build rocks for a builder build supply, a supply even then. Mm -hmm. oh. now, that was many years ago. Yeah, um, yeah he was there. He, um, they, I remember he used to go and, and water them, and I used to go with him. Mm -hmm. And there were stacks, them down. yeah, stacks of blocks. Mm -hmm. Were they adobe? No, no, no. Concrete. Concrete, blocks. Concrete, blocks. Concrete, blocks. concrete blocks. Concrete. We'd count them, he'd count them, and I'd water them down. Cheer them, yeah. cheer them, I suppose that's what they do. Then he had some uh, home, private homes that he used to take care of, that yard, you know. Like the Fullfords and who else did he have? He had Seton and a lot of them. Mr. Gorham. Mr. Gorham was the foreman then, I believe, before he was a postmaster. Was he the first postmaster? Yeah, I think so. I suppose he was. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I remember his name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if he was the first one here. <laughs> and so he stayed through the summer, even oh, though yeah. you were oh. in yeah. Banning. Yeah, mm -hmm. he stayed. And he'd come and see you on the weekends. He'd then? come home Friday night and then come back Monday morning. Do you remember the kind of car that you had then? He had a little uh, pickup truck. It was a Ford Model T, I suppose, and he always filled it up with fruit. Mm -hmm. When he got there, his back was full of fruit or vegetables. He believed in eating and having oh. food in the house. That's one thing. He. Uh, <laughs> he used to buy watermelons, and in order, we didn't have refrigeration or refrigerators or coolers for that matter. No. He'd make a hole by the faucet, make a deep hole, put all the watermelons in there, cover them up with a cover gunny sack, gunny sack, then put dirt over on them, and keep wetting all Wetting that down. Mm -hmm. The mm. best watermelons they kept cool Fine as could be. Mm. He loved watermelons. Oh, it's a creative yeah. heroin. Mm -hmm. Oh, you thought of little things to keep cool. He, um, yeah. He's a hard worker. Uh, was after he died, my mother, to make ends meet, well, we had to quit school and go to work. What year was that that he died? Pardon? 33. June oh. of 33. Yeah. So then she started raising chickens, turkeys, mm -hmm. rabbits, sold them to the hotels. Mm. She and had that's iron for a couple iron, of teachers. Oh, yeah. She had no choice. Saw, she had no income, period. Yeah, and there was no income. By that time, were you living on the reservation mm -hmm. then in 1933? Yeah, there was still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when had you moved in from your tent house to the reservation? Well, well we moved when we got married. <laughs> 
No, but when mother, my when mom? we were, they, we had a house already. Yeah. My, my father-in-law actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, what year did mom well, over here? he was my dad's friend. He, um, Mr. Ortega, Mr. said he um, built us the houses. Oh. Mm -hmm. so first he started with a leftover tent, kept adding on to it mm -hmm. until we had a house. Oh. Little by little. And this was on the reservation. Uh huh. We lived there a lot of years on the reservation. So you and you leased that land, didn't you, on the Lease, reservation? Uh -huh. Leased it from the it. Indians mm -hmm. too. That, was so always, that mm -hmm. wasn't. Oh, this time, ten dollars a month. Even after we got oh. married, because our kids were born, Sam and Ron. Yeah. After my we got married, my father-in-law. We bought our own little house there for thirty-five dollars. Oh my! Mm -hmm. My husband fixed it real nice, you know. Three, oh yeah, three bedrooms. Furnished <laughs> by then, you were getting a little more modern, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you wanted a yeah. rug and you wanted this and that, you know, a refrigerator, a nice little stove, yeah. And a cooler. Oh, when when my first boy was born, Emer said that well, he's not going to be able to stand the heat. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the first coolers came out then, and water coolers. coolers. And he, we bought one. Oh, it was heaven. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> uh, by that time, we had electricity. Mm -hmm. And so what year was that? that no, year did okay. we have started on electricity? Well, we weren't even married yet because my mom had no. it. Mm -hmm. And my dad was still alive. I, I don't know. Yeah. We had it when my, by the time my dad died. But I don't remember exactly the year. Oh. But by the time he passed away in 33, I'm sure we had it already. So that really yeah. made a difference in oh, terms of being able to the have... ironing and things for my mother. Oh, oh, my poor mother, yes, what a blessing. She, she really had it hard. Those ladies, oh, God. All of them, you know. They worked so hard. And you know, in those days, you, uh, your clothes had to be starched. Mm -hmm. They just didn't give them wash and wear. You know? That's right. <laughs> Not like now. They had to be starched and ironed. And of course all the food from scratch, everything mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. Right from scratch <laughs> and everything. <laughs> now then. Oh yeah. <sighs> it sounds like a hard life and yet when you talk about it, mm -hmm. you talk about it with that sense of what fun it was to grow up well, here. Well, it mm -hmm. was fun. <laughs> the uh, Every Christmas, the families got together. Mm -hmm. They'd make tamales. Mm -hmm. We'd have a big bonfire and make the tamales. Everybody stayed up all night. Mm -hmm. Kids and all. And all. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was a big Palo Verde in front of our house, Mom's house. And you know that the, um, what was the name of that hotel? Takwitz Hotel, oh, yeah, right? The old yes, yes. Right on, on Baristo and, and uh, well, actors used to, you know, <coughs> to come there, and they could see our bonfires at night. They'd come over, and uh, Virginia May Mayo, I oh, think yes, it is. Yes. She used to she, come around there all the time, mm -hmm. horse, right on horse. Just, they'd, they'd come and visit us. They wanted to know what all the commotion was. <laughs> And what all the fun was about, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they went, and they'd wait around for tamales. Mm. Oh, yes, they'd come around and eat tamales. I remember really good, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And so the families, did the families all kind of work together then on this tamale party? Was yeah, that? well, they were all friends. You know, they were all friends from back home, from the Salamitos. Sister, my mother's sister and her nieces. All mm -hmm. You know, had a home here, another one moved in, and then another home next door. So, you know, just a little area there. Oh, it sounds really nice. It, it was it fun. Is. Well, now we say it's fun. Now, I yeah, don't know then at the time, no. Well, <laughs> well we didn't know so any fun. better. Yeah. When you're young, everything's fun. Yeah. Well, talking about that period of your life, I'd love to talk to you about school, <laughs> about going to school. That was fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> Working. Walking, I didn't enjoy it because I hated shoes. Yeah. This oh, I like hated it. shoes. I had to put on shoes to go to school. We'd get as far as the wash, take our shoes off, cross over, 
So I'd just hang them around my neck and get to school, put them on when I got there. She loved them. She still does. <laughs> I hate them. And so by the time you were going to school, it was Francis Stevens School? Uh-huh. Francis Stevens. That's the, the only yeah. school there was for years and years and years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <coughs> we went there to the 8th grade. Mm -hmm. that was well, it was first, only at... First through 8th grade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we talked before, you told me that when you first started in the school that there was a special room. Oh. Americanization <laughs> and very popular. <laughs> Tell me about that. I really... Well, I mean, you, that's where they put you. All uh, Mexican kids. Whether you could speak English or, or not. not. Which we did. We always did. My mother we, um, was born here, too, you know. So we had the Indians were in there, too, with us. Yeah. The they Indians? didn't speak Spanish. No. Oh. They could speak English. And what did you do in that room? Just yeah. talk. Just they taught us, I taught suppose. Us, you know, but I mean, uh, we, we, we weren't allowed to go play with the other kids, you know. We had to no, stay in our had, own area. Yeah, we had a little area for us to play. Yeah, and uh, we had our own... Who was the teacher, my gosh? Oh. Yeah, we were talking about when you went to school in that Americanization mm -hmm. room, mm -hmm. and that you were taught there, but was it the same as what the other students were getting? Um, well, I suppose well. it was, but to me, even then I used to argue that if we were going to be there, how were we going to learn more, you know, if we were amongst our own... Uh, I don't remember learning anything until we were in... Um, Out of there. Maybe. But I'm trying to think of how long we were in there. Up till the... I fourth, think they had it to the fourth, fourth grade. Fourth, fourth grade. I don't remember starting to remember read until then. Me. Not reading till you got out of that Americanization mm -hmm. room? Mm-hmm. At, at least in my memory. Fourth I grade, if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, but I think it was. Because there was big kids in there. Yeah. Well, we were all, you know... If some kids were older that came at the time, they had to stay in there until we were all yeah. Americanized, I suppose. <laughs> and Miss Finchie was principal of the school? Mm -hmm. was, yeah, and she must have been. I can always remember her as being principal. Yeah. And did she have anything to do with this classroom? or? I don't think I ever, I don't remember seeing her until we got out of there. But she must have been, yeah, she you know. Just ignore it. They must be for Sam again. Spanish, all of us. How, how long is it going to take for Vicky to get here, do you think? Just, sure. She lives down there. Oh, she lives down there. Uh, we're so happy that uh, Victoria Reyes has joined us. She is sister to Merced Ortega, sister-in-law to Peggy. And um, Vicky, the Ortega family moved to Palm Springs when? 1928. Oh. I was six years old. And so you grew up knowing the Prietos? And oh, yes. yes. So Their um, sister, Dorothy, was my best friend. Oh, so it's a long-time mm -hmm. relationship. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we just started talking about the school, about Francis Stevens School, mm -hmm. and about your memories of going to school there. And we were talking about the famous or infamous <laughs> Americanization <laughs> room. And I wanted to hear what you remembered about that, too. Well, as I recall, uh, we were there from the first to the fourth grade. Mm -hmm. and, and what happened there? Well, we... It was uh, the Americanization room. They were trying to Americanize us. And as I recalled, we would go in the room and they would teach us how to comb our hair and brush our teeth. And then the teacher would send us kids to the post office to see if she had uh, mail from her boyfriend. And the teacher's name was Miss Johnson? Miss mm -hmm. Johnson. 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 A very young teacher. Uh, Miss Finchie would come maybe once a week to see how we were doing. And uh, there wasn't much discipline in the class. We did what we wanted to. And uh, so by the time that we went to the f uh, fifth grade, we, we were integrated then with the other children. 
And this, this Americanization room was right in the corner of, what was it, Alejo? Alejo. Alejo and Indian. Mm -hmm. And we were almost corralled in there because we couldn't go to the other playground where the no. swings and the, and the maples were. So we were right there. We stayed there. Mm -hmm. And um, by the time we got to the fourth grade, believe it or not, we could barely read or write. Mm -hmm. But we had a wonderful teacher, Miss Newberry. And she used to keep us after school. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it, I, I don't know if it hadn't been for Miss Newberry, yes, probably right. we would never learn how to read. Yeah. But she was a wonderful teacher. She, she, she used, really was. She taught us how to read, and she'd keep us after school. <laughs> and so that was our um, Americanization, mm -hmm. or being Americanized. I, I, can I, I don't know whether the school district knows about this or whether I, I as I told you before, I knew of a teacher that his thesis were on, on the uh, uh, schools of Palm Springs, but whether he put this in there, I don't know. I, and I can't recall the teacher's name now, but... Uh, I think it's uh, very important <coughs> for us to <coughs> have recorded, or I think it is very important, because I'm, I can tell by the things you've said how you felt mm -hmm. about that, that you you We'd knew that you were treated differently. Stand by the oh fence yeah. there and watch the other the kids, kids play in the swing. And we just had nothing there. Do you remember we, our playhouse was a um, creosote uh, bush. Mm -hmm. We'd clean all underneath, mm -hmm. make a little house in there, and we'd play house and dolls or whatever we could dig up. That was a playground. Peggy, you were just talking about the creosote bush that was oh, uh, yes. your playhouse. It was between what Mr. Rourke, you remember Mr. Rourke? Yeah, their little the, house um, right there by the American He was a caretaker, I guess, of the school there. Mm -hmm. He was the nicest man. We, we all took our travels to Mr. Rourke, right? Mm -hmm. He'd fix everything for us. <laughs> But that was our playground right there, and that so we couldn't leave there. You know, we just uh, we're not allowed to go to the no. playground. Mm -mm. So we had to entertain ourselves. Did you have? Did you bring your lunches to school, or did you? Mm -hmm. No. Well, we I we walked. We I remember oh, we well, walked. And then at times we took our, our yeah. Lunch. Well, I don't think they gave us these were serving lunch until. Not to us, I guess, until no. we got to the yeah. fourth grade, then we no, the a bowl of soup. Because we were, I remember, uh, we used to take our lunch to that. Mm -hmm. to yeah, yeah. Where well, we had our to. Play, where we played mm -hmm. uh, on, under that tree or under that bush. Oh, that's where mm -hmm. we used to okay. eat, too. <laughs> yeah, that was a highlight of, the, uh, of, our, of our day, just to go there and, and, and play, play and eat our lunch. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and <laughs> this, my, uh, I remember, too, that with our lunches we'd tell mama not to fix any well you call them burritos but we used to call them tacos yeah. to make to make biscuits like so that they wouldn't think they were eating a burrito because they used to make fun of us mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. now this is what they serve in, in the school cafeterias <laughs> mostly <laughs> burritos and tacos the most it's popular, popular. Yeah. Wow. well you said something about a bowl of soup Jenny what yeah that uh, was later on that was later. later that's about all we'd have is a bowl of bean soup Potato soup. Potato soup or bean soup. Crackers. <laughs> Those crackers and your milk. Vegetable soup. And then you'd sit outside the, the, what was it, that porch? What would you call it? On the okay. sidewalk and the outside of the building, uh, the room. Mm. Tables, yeah. And we'd have yeah. to eat there and more yeah. the teacher was out there watching you. Now, by the time you were in the fifth grade, and then was it easy to be a part of the whole school because you'd been separated up through mm -hmm. fourth grade so fifth through eighth and you were oh yeah part yes. of the whole yeah. system. The, the uh -huh. uh, children are you know how we just integrated with mm -hmm. them and yeah. uh, we were friends with them mm -hmm. the you kids know? are real good oh yeah, yeah the kids it. were, oh, the were kids wonderful are, yeah you know? right mm -hmm. remember the full disease and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, course they, they were older than i but jane yeah, licken uh, and uh, oh, the yeah. mckinney's you know barbara and ted and it d d didn't make any difference then. No. I think yeah. we should share that beautiful picture, that school picture from <laughs> 1928 that <laughs> you have. That, um, oh, there it is. Has some of the people you went to school with. Virginia, didn't we discover that you weren't on this picture? No, no I was. Oh, Vicky. I was. We I, I think maybe Vicky played uh, hooky Vicky. Oh, yeah. No, I think did. maybe I was. Well, you were probably on the end. end over here. Over there somewhere yeah. in the end where the I think they must have 
put you under this frame. <laughs> but this was you the whole so? school was that this was first the whole eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Everybody. This was mm -hmm. Francis Stevens. Mm -hmm. Francis Stevens School, mm -hmm. and it's great fun to hear you name so many of the people yeah. who you've mm -hmm. seen. My friends. brother. There's Merced, and there's uh, there's uh, Tommy V, and um, he lost his life in the war, World War Two. Mm -hmm. Where's Joe? Oh God. Joe's Where over there. It's middle. over there. And Dorothy, and I thought I saw mm -hmm. two. Right here. Mm -hmm. This will be yeah, right in here. And you, you named uh, some of the Indian... Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Francis uh, Stovall, uh, Catherine Siva. Joe Potencio's here too. Roy Lugo, I think. And Paul Siva. Oh. Paul Siva. Al Alvino, was he there? Alvino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that little Alvino thing was somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dorothy, remember Dorothy Sobel? Sobel, Dorothy and uh, Jesse Mike. And Jesse Mike, she's yeah. out here somewhere. She's here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that. No, that's Francis. I think. And mm -hmm. then you, then and uh, I know that uh, you talked about Johnny Miller was there. Oh yes. Of course, Clarence. Clarence, Clarence Macy. Clarence. Clarence. Jean. Um, Jean Fulford. Fulford. Cassie Bell. A lot of them. Um. And you said there was one Chinese boy who was in the school whose father was a chef. Mm -hmm. At the uh, Desert Inn. Desert Inn. Mm -hmm. Was this Tom? Was this Wong. Tom? Wong was his Wong. last Tom name. Wong. Yeah. So that, is that was the only Oriental. That I can remember, yeah. I see a, a black boy there, but I don't know who he is. I think he's one of the Goffs, isn't Goff? he? Goff? Must uh, have been. Goff were the only ones around no. at the time. Goff or Crosley? I think it was uh, Goff's, mm, uh, Goff, no, more likely. Uh, who were the names? Uh, yes, uh, Alan, Alan Alec, Goff, uh -huh. and, and uh, yeah, his Alan brother Goff? Alan, no, but Alan Albert, 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 Albert Goff. Oh, it's such a wonderful picture, and we'd better give credit to your brother. <laughs> yeah, yes. He loaned us this picture to Joe Prieto, who's mm. treasured this picture over all the years. Andrea has my sister. Andrea Does she have one too? She has one. I guess maybe they gave one or, or bought. No, you have bought to buy every, them. My every mother. family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has. She has one. And this this is my sister Andrea. Mm -hmm. And Emma's here somewhere. Yeah. So. Such a treasure of all these. <laughs> it's so much cute. fun to see and everybody. I should have brought in a picture of our eighth grade picture. You have the, one with the Pat, the Matashos, you know Pat oh, yes. and, uh, yeah. oh. and his sisters. Another long time family. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I wanted to ask Virginia about? She told about her classmates playing a prank <laughs> on Miss Finchie. <laughs> and uh, oh, we were mean. you were mean. <laughs> tell me, <laughs> tell me about what you did. Well, I don't know. She wanted us to do something, and you know how kids are. We. Uh, we weren't going to do it. So about what she grade said she was, was going this? To, oh gosh, we were, must have been maybe seventh grade. We weren't so little then. They weren't so little. <laughs> <laughs> and she stepped out for a moment. So when we thought, well, we'll just fix her up, put glue on her, the seat, you know. So when she came back, she she said, okay, we're all ready to do whatever we're supposed to do. So she went and sat down, you know, in her desk. And so she tried to get <laughs> up. She couldn't get up. She didn't know what happened. So she says, you're all going to stay after school until I find out who did this. Everybody, nobody did it. Everybody's so quiet. And who were some of the people who were in on it? Oh, Manuel, Salazar. Uh, didn't you say uh, Jim Maynard? Jim. And uh, one Indian girl, but I can't think of who it was. Myself, of course. And there was quite a few. In fact, it was most. Well, it was everybody was. Wasn't involved. the two grades? Were they two grades together? And seventh and eight. Seventh mm -hmm. and eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, up to this date, I don't think she ever found out. Maybe she better. <laughs> <laughs> was well, she was she rather strict then? Yeah, well, she was. She was. Very, she was a yeah, very strict. Yeah, she was very strict. Mm -hmm. You said you had said to me though that sometimes you went to her house to, was it to Miss Finchie's house? That no, she that was uh, Mrs. McGlash. Oh, oh that's McGlashan. right. Yes, she, and she was. And what grade did she, she teach? She had, uh, I think, it was fourth and fifth. I remember we were there. We were in that class too. Yeah. But 
Well, she was there all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it had to be fourth and fifth. And she'd take us to her house after school mm -hmm. every day for mm -hmm. cookies, cookies and milk. Cookies and milk every day. She's a tall, lanky yeah. person. She's mm -hmm. very nice, very well liked by all the children there. You know, yeah, so. real good teacher. She kind of had an interest in those Mexican kids. Mm -hmm. You know, because she. She did. She was. She was. Mm -hmm. She come and visit our parents. Oh. She came to mom's a mm -hmm. lot. Yes, you know. th she did. She was. And tell her uh, how we were doing in school. You know. Oh, that's cool. And if we had any problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, now some another story that I've heard is that there were ponies, Indian ponies, and burros. Burros. That ran burros. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that too? Well, they'd wake us up in the middle of the night. We'd be sleeping, and we hear this thundering hoofs. And we'd wake up and, and just pray that they weren't coming straight toward us where we were sleeping. But oh, they, they were pretty tame. I mean, they weren't they, too wild, really. No, well, they they. Cause Jim could they weren't right afraid of, of people. He, he sure could. He, he'd run all over the reservation after his bareback, <laughs> bareback, bareback. Yeah, he I never used yeah. a saddle. Oh. Now, when you finished eighth grade, there was no high school no. here. So, you had to go to Banning. Oh, you mm -hmm. went to Banning. Banning. Mm -hmm. And that was then for the next four years. Yeah, so. Whoever could afford to go to Banning. <laughs> we couldn't. We, um, well, Vicki went. Mm hmm. At one year. Mm -hmm. my, my but we didn't. Year, we, don't, I, we don't have to work because my father had died. died. So we well, I went, and then I had to quit too to go to work for my help my mother out. How long did it take you on the bus? It was oh, it forever, quick? forever. It and then the kids would do something to break it down, and you'd be in Windy Point all day, which was fun. <laughs> and you know, you never got to school half the time. <laughs> <laughs> what would they do to the bus? I don't know what they did, but before we got started in the morning, they'd be fiddling around, and they'd fix it. And there we were in Windy Point half of the time, oh, freezing to death. What kind of a bus was it? Oh, an old, ugly bus. <laughs> you know. Well, they might well, have been you know, not, by then, not too terribly old. At, you know, at that time, it's probably old, old though now. But at the well, time, I don't know. They're more or less like they are now, but you know, it's an old bus. What do you it took remember? Took a long time. You went one year to Banning, mm -hmm. and Jenny, you went. Was it one year? Uh, one also? year, and I started my second year. Yeah. And what do you remember about going there to Banning, to the high school, when you got there, <laughs> when when the bus made it? Um, well, it seemed like we all rushed to our classes. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the only thing we could do, is just rush to the classes. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was an old-fashioned high school, you know, with the ivy in the front. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and um, I remember the first day that I went to high school, I had, I was sick the first week of school, so, the girls told me, I think it was Barbara McKinney, says, oh, don't, don't worry about it, we'll, we'll get you to your classes. So we were late, and they all scattered, and there I was, and the first person I saw, and he had just graduated that year before, was my husband, Dan. <laughs> and, and I, oh, I didn't say anything, so I rushed, and I didn't know where I was going, so I rushed right into the boys' gym. <laughs> oh, those made a U-turn, and then they, then they said, well, they directed me to the office. But that was my first day of high school. Scary in day. Banning. First time. <laughs> yeah. it is. So, but uh, and then not knowing people. Yeah, mm -hmm. not, it's mm -hmm. hard until you get know, know them. No. Then, then, Vicky, you went. You started when the new high school opened in Palm Springs. You started yes. there. Yeah. Then the first mm -hmm. year. The first year, and I was a. Uh, uh, sophomore the second year mm -hmm. and we were the third graduating class in 1941 oh. and that was 15 of us graduating mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that May the following <laughs> May 15, 15 that was no 30 15 boys and 15 girls that's right that oh. was 30 of us oh. in our graduating but uh, um, but it was fun then we uh, we didn't have the facilities that they have now, but uh, it was fun. Mm -hmm. You and told it was me you were the only Mexican uh, girl who graduated that, that class. Were well, you? I was the first one to graduate from uh, Palm, from Palm Springs. Springs mm -hmm. High School. First mm -hmm. Mexican American. Yeah. That, oh, first Mexican American mm -hmm. to graduate from oh. Palm Springs High School, oh, 1941. Oh, 
So I know you told me some wonderful things you remember about Mr. Summers too. That he oh, was he was. Oh, teachers. he was. He was wonderful. <laughs> and, and then our kids had him too. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Phyllis and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yours too. Mm -hmm. oh. He's been there a long. He had been there a long time. He, he was a wonderful math. Not math. He was a science teacher. Yeah. He was a wonderful teacher. Mr. Greeley. Too. Mr. Greeley. Oh, yeah. Anyone else that you remember from that? Mr. Greeley and uh, Well, uh, the, I believe the first principal was um, Mr. Richardson. In fact, he was here at the last uh, uh, alumni reunion in Palm Springs. Oh. So, and he, uh, then we had, uh, and it made the news too in the Los Angeles Times and all the newspapers of our, uh, we had a, um, when they, I think that was the time that they were hiring another new teach, new principal and the students didn't want it. So they had a strike, the school had a strike. <laughs> and uh, there was this girl, remember the Wertheimers? Mary, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mary and, mm -hmm. and John Wertheimer, they, mm -hmm. their parents owned the Colonial House, which right. was later the, the Howard, Howard Manor. Manor. Howard Howard Manor. Manor. Mm -hmm. And so all the kids would go up there, they wouldn't attend classes. They had oh. the strike and they'd go, except for a few went myself and maybe Betty Kiley and a few of us would stay in school but most of them would they'd get in their cars and off they'd go. <laughs> so, what year was that? Oh my what year was it? Must have been around 1939 maybe. Oh my. So um, <laughs> but our high school was just the first two buildings. Yeah the first two. Mm -hmm. That's two right there was just nothing else but nothing the sand and the two buildings. Ramon Road, that was there. Mm -hmm. So, but going back to the older years, we uh, we all were raised there on Section 14, the reservation, with the the Indians and ourselves. But we had a wonderful time. Oh, they used oh, to have yes. their powwows. Remember, yeah. their, oh, the whole village would That's come. Right. Yeah. They would come to their powwows. They had what they called the, what was it, the roundhouse? Roundhouse. Mm -hmm. Well, when anybody died, uh, so they, had they had the wakes. The wakes. All night. All night. Oh. All night. They Lots were up all night food. singing and singing. dancing and, and their and rituals. Big pots and of food. That's what we used to go for. <laughs> I remember eat. they had uh, um, this, I think it was one of their rituals that they performed that they would get bolts of of, of, uh, um, of uh, materials, material. and then they would they would yeah. Uh -huh. What There's would they do with them? They would throw them up in the air, you, and yeah, and then you could go get them. Even now they do that. No, I, I, yes, because I recall the young man that died mm -hmm. from the he was from this his mother's from this tribe, mm -hmm. and they had the funeral up in the uh, in the tribal, tribal council home. building. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and they didn't have, uh, they had the material on the walls, you know, the, the uh, balsa material mm. on the walls. So I, I, guess know, that's something. Something. I don't know what it signifies or, but that was... Where, about where was the round house, where the powwow was um, Around uh, El Segundo, almost uh, where the Catholic Church is, around the prairie schooner. Oh, oh, uh-huh. Prairie Park. Park. Uh, around the Shakey's, there. isn't it? But where mm -hmm. Shakey's is? I th I think that's where I thought it was. Yeah, around around there. Sure, because right past the church, mm -hmm. on the way to the cemetery, we used mm -hmm. to go it through there. Remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be. If if the Indians did their powwows at the at the roundhouse, where? What about the other wakes and weddings and things? Where did those things happen in town? Did, was there a another place because there was just a little Indian church. Well, there was no more church here. They had to get Banny. Oh. Well, we had uh, that building that they... Oh, yeah, a little hall. little hall where they there had... There was a lodge hall, hall that we had. Just big room, you know. Was that also in Section 14? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it was a insurance outfit, wasn't mm -hmm. it? A, mm -hmm. Yeah. A funeral... It was uh, insurance, something insurance, yeah. like that, your and life that, insurance. And, that's and where they of course, the everybody wedding. belonged. Yes, that's where I had my wedding. And that's where she had her wedding. Yeah. And that's where I had my reception, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You so know, this makes me think of, we were talking at Desert Circus 
the Desert Circus started as a school? Yeah, project. Project. Mm -hmm. That was a school that, mm -hmm. that that's where that Desert Circus comes from. When the it came from the kids at the school. In the what year? Tell me, I can't remember. I just read on the radio. They said it's 50 years that they're going to celebrate this year. 50 years. 50. Of circus. Well, this is one. And actually, it'd be more than 50, wouldn't it? Yes, because I remember um, yeah. the kids, we used to parade down, uh, down Palm, Palm Canyon. Canyon. And uh, in fact, my sister has a picture, and I told her, and, and she said, Well, I'll get him. And she never did. I'll, I'll. The yeah. camel? The camel. She camel. was a camel. <laughs> and I was a Wrigley sister. Me and somebody <laughs> else holding that gum sign, you know. That was <laughs> fun. And so it was, it was the children then who really mm -hmm. were in the mm -hmm. parade. Well, well, the school. The school, so then, I guess. It was, uh, um, who was saying that they were in it, too? I heard someone else say that they were part uh, of that. Maybe Clarence. Oh, probably, <laughs> yes, Clarence. Was oh, part yeah. of that, too. Uh, so, <coughs> the Desert Circus. And I think that was the start of the Desert Circus that they have now. Mm -hmm. It makes me, uh, when you talk about the fun that, you, that you've had, that you had as children, and we talked a little bit about some of the things that you did together. Um, I, I just think that would be wonderful to talk about that too, about the games that you made up and the things that you <laughs> did as children. Well, I can remember <coughs> when we played, where we'd hug each other, you know, we'd sit on the ground and put their legs, whoever was behind me, and and hug oh, me, yeah. and then somebody would come and try to pull you up, and they say that you were the the onion. You remember? Mm -hmm. They were trying to get you off the ground with your roots. You were standing there. You didn't want to move, and they were trying to pull you off. And I don't know how. What's the cebollita, which means onion? Onion. Cebollita. Cebollita. And then we jump rope and they have scotch or marbles. We, oh, we were good at playing marbles. Play ball, climb mm -hmm. trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just play marbles. For the kids. Marbles. Marbles. Jack, yeah. the Jack. The mesquites. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, uh, chew on the mesquites. <laughs> chew, chew the mesquite pods. Mm -hmm. That was our fruit. You <laughs> said they were good. that after the wind would blow that you'd find coins mm -hmm. sometimes. <laughs> that, uh, we were waiting for the winds to die down because the wind would take the sand, the sand, you know, and leave everything on the ground. Yeah, we'd pick up the coins that people do uh, lose. And we'd find coins and all kinds of little goodies that mm -hmm. somebody dropped, I guess. Even even paper money sometimes you'd find, you know? Well, I think no, we'd no, get... We said something okay. about the date beetles. What did you... Oh, those big old <laughs> date beetles would get a, 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 a board and go out there and whack them. them. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was our, one of our games. Game. See? Uh, see who, how many of them <laughs> could we get. could we could get, <laughs> and we'd climb and we'd go up to them Mount. to the mountains or oh, to yes. top it, yeah, mm -hmm. and, or to go under the bridge. Yeah, that we'd that was our Sunday under outings the, under oh, the yeah. bridge, especially in the spring when there was water. We'd go so we'd climb up Takwitz, mm. look for wildflowers. Uh, I remember <coughs> Dora uh, had. Um, a book report. She had to make some Project. kind of a, a, a wildflowers and collect samples, and so we all go up to the canyon and yeah. find all these different wildflowers and press them and put them in a book. And then we had to find the names. Oh. The well, names that was another she, chore. I think she still has that. <laughs> she might have it. I think she. Uh, so it was off. Uh, everybody joined in. Mm -hmm. and picnic up at the Tarquitz Canyon. Yeah. If we had open. company coming from the yeah. Salamitas, mm -hmm. that was a big deal. Just go up to the canyon and take them Lunch. to look yeah. at the uh, falls. Mm. You know, some of the other things you told me about was that there was a carnival every year in town. <laughs> like a circus. Oh, circus. Circus. oh circus. we know that little that little uh, man that used to come, remember? We, it was the snake oil and... Yeah. Or oh, like a medicine man. Oh, medicine that you show. See in the, yeah. in medicine the show is what it was. The old time westerns. You know. mm -hmm. And then he would have contests and 
uh, he'd mm -hmm. have pie eating contest and and uh, you'd eat uh, uh, crackers and see who would whistle first and remember he'd <laughs> have all these things so we could well we'd run over there when we just Bill Hicks <laughs> and then they, and then there was a carnival that came every year too mm -hmm. I don't remember where they were from I wonder who brought them what they I just know, they came just I guess came. was part of their they every year every I guess year? they'd they make the rounds to the small mm -hmm. towns and Right on the corner where the spa hotel mm -hmm. is now, right? Right there. Oh. That's, that's where mm -hmm. they, they live on the back. And they would set up the right circus. there. I just loved it. <laughs> you said too that <clears throat> there used to be a play day at school. Oh yeah. Oh, that was right. Yeah. That Highlight was the, of the, the school O'Donnell, year. at the O'Donnell what Golf all Course. All day. Boy, that was fun. All day we'd go there. Expand Our over. black bloomers, right? Yeah. Were your black bloomers? Black no, bloomers. White midi blouse. White midi. <laughs> That was your gym clothes, you know, what I mean, to play for that day. And, and you'd play all day long. No schoolwork, which is no, the no, thing, you know. Oh, yeah. And then they'd give me yes. prices, your little ribbons, uh -huh. and you'd come home. The sack I don't race. think I ever got anything. I <laughs> did, and you know, I had them for the long time, and now I don't know what ever happened. I think Andrea still has hers. Yeah, she probably you know, does. Yeah. The potato <laughs> race. And, <laughs> and we'd, we'd take our lunch, and we'd have lunch there. Yeah, that was fun at the O'Donnell Golf Course. When we're kind of talking about what what became known in Palm Springs as the Mexican colony, the sort of the first Mexican families here who were really very close and sort of supported one another, what what names come to mind? Of course, the Prietos and the Ortegas. What are the other families that you think of when you think of those original families that made up the Mexican Quiroz colony? Quiroz was one of them. Mm -hmm. um, Chacon. 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 Villa. Well, they're not here, they're all gone now. Perez, Dan was here. Yeah. yeah. And Torres. The Torres. Who else was mm -hmm. there? Oh. Fontes. The Salazars. Yeah. Mm. So. Salazars, right. Uh. There's a lot, but some of them are gone. Uh. Yeah. And there's quite a few, there's at least ten families that I could think of. Mm -hmm. Then my husband's family came here in 1924, but they were just like passing through because they settled in Banning. But he, my husband remembers when his older sisters were, and they might have been the first ones, the Mexicans there in that he school. Could be. Because that was in 1924 and uh, they uh, settled right where the spy is now. And he said that his mother used to send him out and to to the road to to watch to see if his sisters were coming from school. And he says that there was a um, orange or grapefruit grove right across. And he said, oh, he he wanted to run across the street to get those those their fruit, but they wouldn't let him. But he he well, he was four years old at that time. So, but they didn't stay here. They and then they uh, settled in Banning instead of here. And he says that he remembers that they, uh, his mother wanted to stay here because they were offering some lots right in, right in on Palm Canyon mm -hmm. for $50. And she wanted to get those lots, but uh, his father and his uncle didn't want to stay here. Oh. So they moved to Banning, and that's where they settled. <laughs> that's that's where my husband uh, grew up in Banning. Mm -hmm. Wish but we'd had some of that lot. Well, so. same with my dad. Yeah, they offered my father some, and Santa Rosa track over there by Security Bank. He mm -hmm. would have bought that, but my mother no. She said, we're not going to stay here. What do you want to buy him for? You know, no that was her excuse. And you yep. tell me mm -hmm. she ended up here to the last she day of her life that she... Mm -hmm. she no, she was bound and determined. She was going to no, go back. No, she said, I'm not staying here. You're crazy. <laughs> you're staying here. There's money here. This is going to be big. My God, he was right. <laughs> he was right. <laughs> <laughs> he was right. And so is there anything else that you can think of in terms of something you'd, you'd like to share about? Well, the, my father, I, I guess I told you about the adobes that he, he made. Oh, I'd like to and talk about that. Uh, s there's still the houses here that, that his well, adobes any, are there. Any adobe building that was built here, houses, he built them. 
he and Mr. Fontes, they had a formula for those mm -hmm. adobes. And he, they'd work in them and work in them until they got them just perfect. Didn't you tell me the wall at Thunderbird? That they yes, did they that built beautiful that. Adobe mm -hmm. wall. Well, I think that's the rock wall that they had there. And, uh, and yeah. just by the rocks. The yeah, rocks no, no cement or no, anything. No. It just locked into each other. And that was uh, my That's father over there and Mr. By Mr. Thunderbird, Fontes, right? So Francisco Fontes mm -hmm. and his brother Manuel mm -hmm. and my father. So, and he was, my father was quite a character. He, he built houses. He couldn't read or write, but he could build a mm -hmm. house. And he would, mm -hmm. everyone would, mm -hmm. would, uh, um, you know, would ask him to come and if there was a leaky pipe or this, this or that. Mm -hmm. They called him to go fix it. So there he'd go. So, and uh, he was—he loved gardens. He had a victory garden during the war. Mm -hmm. Right on the sand, he had his <coughs> squash and mm -hmm. whatever he had. Yeah. He had his victory garden. So he. Uh, well, the water used to be free. You know, it was irrigation water. Mm -hmm. They um, every. Twice a week, something like that. Yeah, you could get it. He could. He'd, it. he'd go up there to the. Where was it? Right, right on uh, on El Segundo. They had a uh, El Segundo and and Ramon, and he'd go and open that. Yeah. yeah. Water, no. And he to irrigate. Ir was irrigate it on El Segundo? I think it was right in the corner. They used to come on Arenas. Or Arenas. Name because they used to come down in back of Valentina's house. Remember? Oh. There was a little oh, creek. Yeah, we have to right. talk about Valentina. She she was a uh, lady that, if you saw her at that time, you think she, you were in Mexico because that's the way she dressed mm -hmm. with her mm -hmm. with her long skirt and her reboso, mm -hmm. and she had a daughter Rosie. Mm -hmm. Rosie. And uh, she made her living by making corn tortillas, homemade corn tortillas, mm -hmm. and. She'd get her tortillas, and before you knew it, they were gone, because they were delicious. She delivered it all. She ground the corn, like you know, bucket, and made them in the bucket and from sell. scratch, ground the corn, and. Uh, and she was right there in section 14. Mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. And she'd go, she'd go downtown, and her she had a little wagon, mm -hmm. and she'd sell all her tortillas. Oh, that's what she, she did. Was, from? Mm -hmm. Had one no. daughter to raise. So she was she here then from the early days too. Well, no, she, she came, came um, with yeah. Beatrice. What's her name? Uh, Con. What oh. year would that have been? Probably in in the middle thirties. Well, I know because oh. yes. yeah, yeah, Pro probably yes. in the middle thirties. Yeah, I'm about. Are you uh -huh. talking about the thirties too? We're talking about the depression. Did that affect your families? Of course, your death, the death of your father in 1933, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. is what really affected mm -hmm. you. But N not, not really. We didn't feel the depression no, too much no, out no. here, because there was always work. Mm -hmm. There was plenty of work. But Everybody worked. I don't think. Well, my father was. Uh, he worked as a gardener, and mm -hmm. uh, and so there was always work, always gardening mm -hmm. work. And I think my brother worked, where did he work? In the El Mirador? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The El Mirador. So uh, there was always work. We always, it seemed like we didn't, it didn't affect us that much. Mm -hmm. And the hotels kept running through that mm -hmm. period of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember the yeah. first, like when I started uh, high school, I remember my sister bought me I don't know. I thought it was a beautiful outfit, mm -hmm. and she worked for a little uh, shop right in in the plaza. They used to be called Mary Cassell, and she got me this outfit and uh, it's the the slacks, the the top, and the skirt. And, mm -hmm. and so we always, you know, we always had we always had things to wear, and things to eat. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we. we I don't yeah. think we, we ever wanted, wanted for anything. No, no, we no. no. always had enough things or whatever, whatever. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our, I, I remember our mothers used to make mm -hmm. a big old pot of soup with all the vegetables, and that mm -hmm. was, you know, our mainstay, but it was good. And my mother used to make, I remember your brother 
Frank used to call mm -hmm. pan de huela, mm -hmm. grandma's bread. She used yeah. to make yeah. these little yeah. round, yeah. little round biscuit-like uh, rolls. And oh, he run to to yeah. grandma's mm -hmm. rolls. We always went to huelas. We used to call her huela, grandma. Mm -hmm. so. And uh, that was a treat, boy. She made him good. <laughs> and I, I, yeah. I remember your aunt. What was her name? Aunt, no. no. She, what was her name? She, she would get all of us kids, and we would oh, pull loose. the oh, taffy. Oh, you know, we, yeah, she'd make us loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was a treat for us. In mm -hmm. the evening, she'd get all of us kids, and we were there making the candy pulling pulling taffy. The taffy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. might have been really tough for the women, but it really sucked. Not for the kids. Not for us. Yeah, we enjoyed it. We always had something to do. Even our kids enjoyed being there in the reservation. You know, they still lived there too. You when know. they were little. Yeah. It's like, well, two of mine. The other one, we moved to India for about three years, but they were raised here too. So they they enjoy, they remember. Well, everything that. was so open and uh, we never locked our doors. Mm -mm. What for? Everybody was related. <laughs> you know. Yeah, there was nothing like mm. that. You know. uh -huh. So you felt very safe. No danger, yeah. no danger of any sort. Just you a good life. Actually, it was a good life. For a while, no problem. Mm -hmm. You can't do it now. In the end, do you think your mother thought it was a good life too? Do you think she was glad that oh, you raised um, your Oh, oh, sure, here? sure. She and my mother were very good friends. They would mm -hmm. go to the well, market together. Mm -hmm. When our mothers died, we were already over here, and they were too. Yeah. But I think in the years that they worked so hard might have cut their life a little bit, you know. She, my mother got uh, TB when she was young. So I think um, just too much work, too was much that irony. after she'd already come here that she got the TB? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned too that many people who came here originally came because of TB, mm -hmm. didn't you? For the dry climate, and uh, she and spent they two years in in the hospital. Actually, about three years altogether. Mm -hmm. In Riverside. Yeah, and then she she got over it. She was in the arrested case. Mm -hmm. How wonderful! Mm -hmm. She got oh. over it. Well, the last time they did surgery, this when they used to take off part of their lung. Mm -hmm. But she got over it, yeah. luckily. Because she was checked every six months and everything was fine. H had you mentioned too that many people went to the banning area because of TB mm -hmm. also? Well, I remember yeah. we'd, uh, oh, we would go there in, in the uh, summertime. Of course, when we mm -hmm. lived here, there weren't any uh, air conditioners or even uh, soft coolers at that time. Mm -hmm. So we. You had you had a home there. Mm-hmm. My dad built it, and we we'd go there in the in the few months of probably about Seven, two, eight, two, two, two July and August, August, and come back with the first school in September. So, and sometimes we'd go and and work in the uh, um, apricots. Mm -hmm. You know, we uh, they they'd have uh, uh, they'd have the apricot season there, so we'd go and cut apricots, and uh, uh, and then we'd. Right at the end of the season, we'd go and 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 shell almonds. Uh -huh. That so was the last time. Prunes, 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 Really well, I have to say, it has been wonderful fun to talk to you, and I thank you so much for sharing mm. some of your. We memories. enjoyed it. <laughs> Thinking back to it, there's a lot more, but you know, you gotta think now. Oh, keep there thinking. There is because because I want to hear more. Anyway, thank you so, so much. You're here. We're gonna be here till the day. And guess. even our children and our children's children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, we have uh, um, well, the second generation now, and in Sierra Vista School, where my mm -hmm. my children started, yeah. and uh, so. and it should be the third in high school. Only he's he's living in Missouri. He's not here. Oh. My oldest grandson. Mm -hmm. So that's that nice continuity. continuity. That's so mm -hmm. wonderful.
Well, thank you so much. It's just been a joy.